some movies, when you go to see them, it's almost like going to a rock concert or any type of music venue that you enjoy. Because the atmosphere is set by the people you're attending with. You get the sing-alongs, you get the little lighters on your cell phones nowadays. Here, in this movie, where we probably would have been annoyed in any other type of movie, we're surrounded with a theater full of half kids. And to hear their reactions only made you more excited for it. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional. This is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. Dr. Robotnik's is back. And he's brought some muscle in Knuckles. And they're in a race to find the Chaos Emerald, a stone that turns your thoughts into reality. Yep, like Ghostbusters. <laughs> but Sonic isn't alone this time, as Tails travels across the universe to warn him about their return and join forces with him to find that emerald before they do. Now, I've seen some mixed reactions to Sonic 2, but what I'll have to say is Sonic the Hedgehog, when it came out, it did justice to the gamer universe crossing over into the movies, where it instantly became the best video game movie of all time, because there is loads of crap that's out there. This one <laughs> is very close to being either a close second or... A Maybe even better than the last one because honestly, I think and I don't know how much you've seen of the Sonic game when you were younger It had almost everything laid out as if you were going through parts one through three While playing the game it had the zones laid out it had certain traps laid out It was just almost like watching a real-life video game on screen, but done perfectly I agree. I remember the game I mean, I didn't play too much of it. I did play some at like a friend's house, uh, but from what I remember, it, the movie was exactly like the game, which now, I thought was really cool. Now, Jim Carrey, this may be his last role ever. He's talking about retiring. He does have grandkids. Maybe they'll be talking into doing a part three, but I thought it was kind of funny. So this week I saw an interview with him talking about how he delivered his part in this movie where he said most of the time I spent looking at the stick with this weird little face on it that was like this <laughs> and somebody in the background would call out the lines that i would have to respond to i think he did a very good job in this and i'm not a huge jim carrey fan mm -mm. but this harks back to his in living color days again mm -hmm. and some of his earlier movies because he's silly and he just delivers this character pretty epically yeah so i'm also not a I won't even say a big Jim Carrey fan. I'm not a fan of Jim Carrey. I don't tend to like him in movies at all. This is probably the only movie that I tolerate him in. And I think it works because I think he's a little batshit crazy anyway. So this role works well for him because Dr. Robotnik's is batshit crazy. Yeah. Now you haven't seen The Cable Guy, which you're going to have to watch. I think you'll like I it. I have anyway. seen The Cable Guy. And I don't like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> now... Knuckles is played by Idris Elba, who well, I think this was originally supposed to be played by The Rock, but mm. Idris did a great job. I liked his voice with the character, I liked the Knuck Knuckles approach mm -hmm. in the movie. Yeah, I think it was kind of cool too because he kept his his English accent. Mm -hmm. He didn't. They didn't try to make him American or, or anything. Or, you know, sound like he had an American accent. He just kept his English accent, so that was definitely different. Yeah, this movie is filled with a lot of comedy. Sonic still yeah. has his attitude. Not as much as in the first movie, but he's also, you know, not an outcast like he was mm -hmm. in the first movie. So yeah. you get to see his relationship re evolve mm -hmm. with Tom and Maddie. Maddie, yeah. And, and the rest of the townspeople, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've all embraced him, and he's just one of them now. So he doesn't have to have that, like, same 
attitude. Yeah, and there are loads of Easter eggs. Oh, so, so much many. <laughs> I, during the movie, I could hear the rings going off in my head, just like when we went to see Screams. Like, oh, there's one, there's mm -hmm. one, there's one. And that's when you started doing it, too. Yeah. So yeah. guess what? We're going to do an Easter egg video because we found 50 plus. What do you think of this movie? I thought it was excellent. And he's right about the, there was a lot of talking going on. There's a lot of chatter during the movie, but it didn't take away from the movie. Mm -hmm. In this instance, I think it made it better. Yes. It was almost like it was just a huge group of friends seeing a movie together. That's what it felt yeah. like. Because the theater was probably at 75 to 80% capacity. It could have mm -hmm. even been more. I couldn't really see the lower seats. Mm -hmm. It was pretty full, and it was one of the bigger theaters that the Regal has. So, and it was it was pretty full, and there was half of them were probably kids, and there was a lot of talking and laughing amongst the adults and the kids. And yeah. we we're kind of all going back and forth, but it didn't. You could still hear the movie fine. It didn't take away from it. I actually think it enhanced it. Yeah. So I thought it was really good. Yeah, hearing the little kids yell at the, the one liners from the movie. Like yeah, that was great. Like <laughs> propeller butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the adults, a lot of them. No butt copter. Oh yeah, butt copter. Butt copter. <laughs> <laughs> they liked that. A lot of a lot of the adults were belly laughing out loud. Yeah. So yeah. it, it yeah. was a movie where people didn't try to have to keep quiet. They just all enjoyed joined in on the experience. And, yeah, yeah, I think the kids are what brought it on because there were so many kids and they were because there was a group in front of us that was just four adults that came mm -hmm. to see it. But no one was complaining, even if they weren't there with kids. And I think it's because the kids kind of brought it out just to hear them and to to hear how funny they thought some of the stuff was and how excited they got over it. It kind of felt it made it more exciting for the adults, I think. Mm -hmm. Like I said, funny. And the music from our time didn't hurt either. Yeah, great story. It's yeah. another adventure type movie. You know, mm -hmm. I'll be seeing an influx of those Indiana Jones inspired movies. You get to see a little bit of that in this as well. Mm -hmm. And I think almost like the, the delivery and the timing of this movie, you, know, you think about Spider-Man coming out, mm -hmm. you think about Bat the Batman coming out and Scream. This almost kind of fits right into that selection of movies because people are excited to see these characters back on screen. And yeah. Anyway, so what do you rate this one? I would go see it again. Yes, and I would go see it again too. This is definitely one to watch in the theater again. Mm -hmm. Maybe even to see it without people in the audience to see if it's really that good without that mm -hmm. atmosphere. But like I said, when you go to concerts, mm -hmm. you go with other people and you feel that atmosphere and it makes the show that much better and that is this film. So it's probably oh, yeah. really good to see it early on in a packed theater because you'll enjoy it more. Yeah, I think so. I think that you'll really enjoy it if you... And go see it at a time and a day when there's going to be like a mixture of adults and kids. Now, we're in our birthday month, one year anniversary. We'll have a special show that is coming up for that to announce some things that are coming. Kind of recap on the year, like if you watch our first review with the unholy with you blending in on the green screen uh, oh my yeah. god well i'm super white yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> and i have light colored hair yeah. so. you get to see us bounce around in some of the earlier episodes trying to find the right location until we found it this until we had to move but now but, we have a dedicated space so yes. that's nice <laughs> we're gonna have more than one space in this location but also we are yeah downstairs we have oh, the, the video store the bar oh yeah 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 the nerd we're, box we're cave. working on finishing that up so yes, the nerd box cave <laughs> yeah but also so we've put out on the community page how we want to change the content to be a little bit more interactive with everybody you know we've been including comments when we get them in but we're going to be switching up our content a little bit where we'll worry about the bigger reviews here and some other stuff mm -hmm. the smaller reviews we'll start posting it on our facebook page so hop over there mm -hmm. and you'll get to see in the next couple days a review on the contractor mm -hmm. and you'll get to see a review on ambulance which is yeah. definitely one that we were debating on filming a review for mm -hmm. but we'll catch it in another time when it hits a streaming platform yeah so don't forget to keep liking and subscribing and definitely share Liking is the most important yes. part because the more people like it, the more that shows up in the YouTube algorithm mm -hmm. and more people get to see it. And share with your friends, family, you know, anybody. I mean, I, I share with people like in the bathroom theater. So <laughs> she does. I have a QR code. They scan it. It's all. Yeah, I do. All right. And until the next. <laughs> see, see ya. ya.